Hit those buttons, boys. Shadow Kitty versus Creedless. Three teams is the last match two, with the Ant Wave. One. Spike for one. Spike. Shadow Kitty spun up. Creedless also spun up. Not really spun up anymore. This is a whole scale smaller. Oh no, that thing. Creedless is already been stranded on his backside. Gets free thanks to Shadow Kitty's help. That may cost him another judges. But it does look like it. Oh, and he's perfectly balanced there. Will he be able to make a move? Got to show translation moving across the arena floor. Oh, you should have left him. But we'll see whether your chivalry pays out in the end. Shadow Kate currently engaging against Greedless, who doesn't appear to be doing much of anything at this point. Oh, another rough solid hit between these two in wake. And Creedus goes flying, maybe about two feet in the air, which considering these are little one pound robots that probably are less than six inches long. That's a decent height. Actually, Shadow Kitty is less than uh, five inches in width. Shadow Kitty is maintaining aggression the whole nine yards. <laughs> to Creedmore's credit, he's not appeared to have suffered any serious damage to his drive system. Neither has Shadow Kid really gotten a good, concise <laughs> He's so more old. Looks like both weapons are working, but Creedmoor is currently just spinning in a circle. Oh, no. His been knocked out. Oh, there he goes. He's showing translational movement across the arena floor, apparently. Now it's a matter of will Shadow Kid go in for the kill. Creedmoor is constantly getting stuck on his back. It's like a third or fourth time. Certainly a flaw to get fixed in the next iteration of the robot as Creedmore drives himself into the wall. Shadow Kitty trying to pin him up there in the corner to hopefully bring this fight to a proper conclusion. Creedmore doing some minor gyroscopics. I see some very small chunks of one or more foam wheels and I'm going to need to restick that. Uh, I need to restick that sticker, unfortunately. <laughs> Creed Moore is having trouble moving across the arena floor. I need to see. I need to see movement. Okay, well that's movement. That's not translational movement. Now he's constantly getting knocked around the nearby Shadow Kitty over in the far corner again. That weapon is still going. Creed Moore is credited as, as intact as possible as he does a double backflip. Creed Moore over in the corner. Shadow Kitty had to just manhandle this entire fight. And the robots are currently tangling. Ooh, and three more stop working. Shadow Kitty has not stopped working. Has he? I can't tell at this point. He's not spinning. That's it. And we finally come to a conclusion.